One of the most important skills that you can learn in photography is long exposure pictures. Once you learn how to do long exposure pictures, your ability to create artistic images opens up so much. So I'm just going to walk you through how I do long exposure shots and hope that this video can help you out on your journey to get better artistic uh, long exposure shots. The most important thing when setting up a long exposure shot is location and composition. For tonight, I've chosen the Fred Hardman Bridge, which is in the background right now, as my location and composition. From here, it's just a matter of how I want to frame the image and what type of effect I'm trying to create. I've decided to put on my 35 to 150 mil lens just so I can have some room to play around with my focal length. So this is all the way wide at 35, and then this is all the way in at 150. So I have room to play around with. To set my composition, the bridge is obviously going to be the subject. So I'm going to frame it in such a rule of thirds with the bridge off to the left side and the top left third. Now, from here, I can either choose to keep the sign which is off to the right in the composition or I can crop it in more to make the bridge the primary subject which I think I'm going to go ahead and do. I think that is a good composition right there. Once you get the composition set up it's just a matter of playing around with the settings just to get how long of light trails and different amounts of blur. So tonight, since I am on this bridge, I want to get a lot of light trails coming off the cars to make like a cool streaming effect with the lights. So I'm just going to go ahead and set it up, make sure that the composition and everything is still good. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and turn off vibration control on this lens just because it interferes with how smooth the image comes out. I don't have an ND filter on right now. That is something you should have in your arsenal. It's not entirely necessary, but if you plan on doing long exposure shots during um, more light or during the daytime, you absolutely need an ND filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the ISO to 100 so I can get a crisp, clear, sharp image. And I'm going to set the aperture, I'm gonna start at 11 because that will make sure it's nice, crisp, and clear. So I set a two second timer so that way when I hit the shutter button, I can remove my hands away from it and it will take the picture without any movement of the camera. Now you can also avoid doing this by getting a remote shutter um, controller or just by controlling the camera on your phone which I have done both and you can see it's counting off and there it goes so now we have to wait 10 seconds to get this photo okay so from this photo um, the light trails look really good they're kind of choppy if you look especially on the red side of lights you can see where they start and stop so I want to go ahead and turn up the exposure longer to get one continuous line of lights. Now this may become an issue if cars are coming right in front of the lens where that one bottom light streak is, it might become overexposed so I might, um, that just may be something I have to fix post production with cropping. I'm going to go ahead and turn up the exposure now for 20 seconds and just so you know while this is going. I already adjusted my white balance for um, how I want the image to come out. It looks very natural to what I'm seeing right now. So if you take a look at that image, the light streaks are starting to come out real nice and solid. I'm going to go ahead and turn this up to 30 seconds and do a very long exposure just to show you what it's like. So you can see at 30 seconds, it starts to look just like a stream of lights. And I actually like this image a lot. It's very well exposed and it just looks very very good if this video helped out just make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to i'm starting to make this channel more photography based in the near future so um, just subscribe if you want to see more photography based content